do live in Chappaqua, and a very important fact is uh, I have three uh, daughters, ranging from turning 17, she's a junior at Greeley. Uh, I have a 13-year-old who's at Bell, and I have an 8-year-old who's at Grafton. So I kind of know girls and what you're going through, and in fact, one of them was a Girl Scout for a while. But, uh, and we all love Girl Scout cookies, and this office Woo! loves Girl Scout cookies. So uh, we are a potential target for you. Um, I, we want to spend a few minutes tell you a little bit about our company and what a marketing company does, and then show you examples of that. But before we do that, uh, I thought it'd be good for the SSK people to introduce themselves uh, and uh, describe a little bit about what they do here. And then you guys can quickly tell us your names, and then we can jump in. All right? So remember, my name's Lenny, and uh, I'm really excited you're here. We'll start uh, here. And then the moms and parents have to introduce themselves to them. So hi, my name is Katie, and I work in the consulting group here. And are we talking about what visuals are? Yeah, there? we can talk a yeah. little bit about what. Yeah. We'll talk about it later, but quickly. All right. I'm trying to think how to best explain this. The way, that, the way that I think I would explain the consulting group is what we do a lot of is oversee the process from the beginning to the end and make sure that our clients are getting what they want. So the people who work at the company that we represent, make sure that they're getting everything that they need and that they're happy and that we have a good relationship with them. And that process is really an advertising or marketing type process generally or sometimes it's a, a communication between two companies. Um, but oftentimes it's a product, so it's a product that you guys buy and see and like. Maybe that's a Barbie or a toy or a Nintendo or a game. Um, we have clients that make those and we help um, basically bring that product to life for you guys, whether it's on television or in print ads and magazines or um, online or through very specific you know, targeting communications to you guys through events and things like that. So, it kind of um, spans the whole range, and then uh, several of us here, when we say account management or consulting, we kind of bridge that gap between the creative process and, and getting the product to you. Uh, hi, my name's Chris Dorsey. <laughs> nice to meet you guys. And yeah, the token guy here. Uh, and I kind of like to describe what we do is, is it's like, you have somebody who speaks one language, let's say it's Chinese, then you got another person who speaks another language, let's say that's Spanish, and let's say they only know each other's, they, they don't know each other's languages. We have to be the translator who kind of like helps them understand what each other's saying. So you've got like one person speaking in a language, which is the client, like let's say it's like, you know, Cocoa Puffs, and then you've got another people, you've got other people in this agency who are the creatives who come up with the ideas for the ads, and they speak a completely different language. So if it weren't for us, they'd have a hard time communicating. So that's kind of the way I like to describe what we did. You we invited Chris Dorsey here. <laughs> well done. Uh, hi. Well, I'm in the uh, design studio, and we make the uh, graphics for the Cocoa Puffs. So basically, the picture that you see on the cereal box is designed by us. My favorite cereal growing up was Cocoa Puffs. Yes. <laughs> I had Cocoa Puffs this morning for breakfast. <laughs> Thank you. Genius. Thank you for all that. We love reading the back of that box. <laughs> um, I'm Alex. I'm also in the consultant group. And I guess what I can tell you is that all of us, you know, we're consultants or account, but, but we all have different clients and different products that we will advertise. So, you know, I've worked on things like Sesame Street that you guys probably know. Mm -hmm. So can, kind of creating you know, messaging and messages for them, or now that people work on Mio, or they worked on some, some kids, kids and Capri Sun, it's a group, Capri Sun, which you probably know. So all of us have different clients that we work with, but we all work within the same, you know, with the creatives right there that they'll come up with the ad. So, you know, we all kind of have to speak differently. So to Chris's example, we may have to speak both Spanish and French and Italian because there's all these different clients that are very different. So what we do is we try to make sure that we kind of get all those learnings and are able to show it to the creatives and say, all right, so maybe find a way to advertise or talk about that, about that product with the client, whether it's Sesame or Capri Sun or something else. She's my boss. <laughs> uh, my name is Jessica. I'm an art director. So I work in the creative side. So when these people come up with uh, a brief 
for an assignment, the way that you get assignments at school, then me and my partner, who's a copywriter, work together to come up with different ideas of how to make that come to life. So we're the people who decide, like, that cereal box should be blue, and there should be a cartoon character on it or whatever. So we come up with the idea and then work with people like Mina to kind of bring them to life. And I'm Mickey, and I also work in the design studio with Mina, and I help make the art that you see on the cereal boxes. <laughs> the cereal boxes. Yeah. The cereal boxes. <laughs> and I'm Jen, also in the consulting and account management role, similar to Alex and Katie. Um, I'm Chelsea, I'm a strategist, so there are a lot of different kinds of strategy. The kind that I do is called community management and content strategy. So what I do, if we're continuing with the cereal, is I get people to talk about their cereal on Twitter and Facebook and Instagram and on websites and get excited about their cereal. I'm Justine and I assist someone like a Lenny. Um, <laughs> and I also help the consulting group out in whatever they need. And I'm McKenna and I do, I'm on the consulting group too, so I do the account management with Jen and Alex and Chris Dorsey. I know a lot of different languages. Not really. I wish I knew Chinese <laughs> and Spanish and French, but not there yet. Right, we? Great. So uh, why don't we start? Because we'll get to know you as we talk a little bit. So before I tell you more about our agency, uh, what do you guys think a uh, marketing advertising agency does? Um, you sell products, and you probably design them. You kind of make the products also. Okay, so sometimes we come up with the ideas for the products, and sometimes we sell them. Any other ideas? Get ads and magazines, and uh, on, and like post on, and post about it on Facebook and Twitter. Okay, so that's a really good point. So in the, in the olden days, when your parents were kids, and when I was a kid, long a long time ago, uh, I'm the age of Chris Dorsey's parents. So, um, when you wanted to sell a product, you'd make an ad, and you'd put it in the newspaper, put it on TV. But what did you say, what's another way to get people excited to tell people? What did, Facebook. Facebook. Why? Because a lot of people go on it. Right. So, what other ways can you get people excited besides Facebook? Twitter and Instagram. Okay. So, so those are great examples. You're hired. That, that's it. That, what we call that is digital or social marketing. In today's market, if you want to communicate, not just to parents, but to kids, you have to talk to them in a lot of different ways. So ultimately what we do is we solve people's problems. A client comes and says, I want to sell this cup, or I want people to like me better, or I want people to go to my website. We develop some type of idea that gets carried out on TV, on radio, on print, on digital assets like Instagram or Facebook to tell a story. That's really what we do. There are about so 60, 70 or so people that work here. They work in all sorts of areas. Some come from the world of design. So there are, some come from the world of advertising. Some come from the world of PR. Do you guys know what PR is? Public relations. Excellent. Nicely done. What does that mean? Um. I love your sash too. Thank you. Um, public relations are like are like like websites like Newcastle, like an online uh, like some like an online newspaper or something. Great. So you know the way we talk about it is there's something called paid media and earned media, and I think you guys developed a plan for your chimpanzee idea, right? A marketing plan. Paid media is if I make an ad and I put it on TV, I have to pay for it to be on TV, right? If I put it on Facebook or those properties, that's I have to pay money and then I get that distribution. Earn media is if I run around the Bronx Zoo 
in a funny outfit, and then people come and write stories about it, and it's in the newspaper. That's earned media. So PR is how do I get attention to my idea in working through the media. Okay, so everybody in this company comes from different forms. If you go to an advertising agency, you might see people very similar. If you go to a PR agency, it might be similar. The one thing that's a little bit different about our company is we're integrated. Integrated is, instead of everything being separate, everything's pushed together. So people from all the different forms of communications work as part of this company. Okay? So this is what we were talking about before. In the old days, it used to just be TV, print, magazines. Now, look at this. Does anybody know what Foursquare is? Oh my God. <laughs> First, let me call upon, does any parent know what Foursquare is? I, I know. Okay, I'm gonna start with you. <laughs> and you check in somewhere exactly. and right. like post something, like a yeah. picture. And, and wh why would you do that? Maybe if you want, like if you went to a really good restaurant and not a lot of people knew about it, you wanted other people to go there, or if you go to like a place that not a lot of people get to go to, you might want to check in there. That's so. great. So all these new properties are opportunities to talk to people in new and different ways. Okay. And the point I made before is, unlike some agencies who only make ads or only do things on websites, on our best days, we integrate it and work across all those different platforms. Uh, so, does anybody know who this guy is? I think that's President Trump. Yes. So, we were, a lot of people work to help elect Obama. And while most of the work we do are for things like Cocoa Puffs and things like that, a number of us, myself included, my first job was working in politics. So occasionally we get involved in political campaigns. And it doesn't matter if you like Obama or you like Romney. We don't care about that. Everybody should like who they want, as long as they know why they want him. In our case, we happen to like the president. And our job in 2008 and 2012 was to do all the youth marketing for President Obama. Do you guys know, what, what, what does youth marketing mean? You know what marketing means, so what does youth marketing mean? Like kids or like young adults? Young adults. And, and for the most part, it was anyone 18 to 30, let's say. That was our job, to figure out how do we get them excited to register and go vote. Well, I thought it would be fun just to quickly show you a video that gives you a sense. And a lot of the people in this room, Jess in particular, um, really help develop all of this stuff. It gives you a sense. Is this the first one or the second one? We don't have those. They grew strength from the young people who rejected the myth of their generation's apathy.